Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug. Uh, this is something I saw the other day in some code and it looked a little funny and uh, decided to dig into it. So this is whether or not you can use in with uh, null values in the list. Well, the short answer is no, but why can't you do this? Well, let's give a couple of short examples. So if I select a record with the value one in it, where null, the value null is somewhere in this list, obviously it doesn't give me a record. Right? But what if I put null in the list, execute that, I still don't get a record. So that's a little odd. Null is not in a list that contains null. Okay, well, let's look at a table example of this. And this is um, very close to the code that I was looking at, where someone was trying to check for blank emails, email that is either null or is an empty uh, string or a zero length string. So um, notice that I get sh uh, this last name of Shaw with an empty string, but I don't see the null. So just to verify, um, here is an email or here's the person with an empty string or zero length string. And now I'm going to look for people that have a null uh, email is equal to null. And uh, I happen to know the data, so uh, that's a little funny, but oh yeah, I can't. Null is an unknown value, so uh, if I ask the database, is an email equal to an unknown value, the database says, well, I don't know. I, don't, I can't answer that. So, so in order to test for nulls, what you need is the is operator. It's a special operator. Its whole sole purpose in life is to test for null values because nulls are never equal to anything. So I do see somebody with a last name of null. And just for some more proof, uh, can I get a record where this is true? Well, no, that's never true. Null is never equal to anything. But I can test for null um, where null is equal or is null, right? So in effect, what in is is a shorthand for a sequence of ors, right? Uh, a bunch of equalities or together. Well, is that really how the database thinks about it? So, so I did this, and I'm going to look at um, this execution plan. I'll hover over this, and we'll zoom in a little bit. And notice this piece right here is the predicate is basically saying it's only looking for emails that are equal to the n is for Unicode, uh, and then two quotes, that's the zero link string. So the, the null completely got removed from the query plan, right? Let me try this again. What if I do an or like this and execute that? And let's look at this query plan. And again, it completely gets removed. So a couple things is, number one, those two query plans are exactly the same between using the in and using the two equalities ORed together, or logically combined with an OR. And just to kind of check this out again, I did the same thing where I said in and I added some other things into the list and take, took a look at it. And again, we'll look at the predicate of it and notice that it doesn't mention the null anywhere. So it has both the values in there, but no nulls. So apparently the query optimizer is smart enough to just say, let's get rid of the null out of the in list because it doesn't matter. It has no effect on it. Nothing is ever equal to null. So just remove the null value. So again, the short answer is no, you can't use null in the in clause. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found that interesting, please subscribe.